Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another playthrough of Mage Knight. Today we're going to be playing as Goldix, Brave Lara is the dummy player. We have a gold, a white, and a red in the source. Our unit offers Northern Monks, Foresters, and Savage Monks. Um, our advanced action offer is going to be Steady Tempo, Song of Wind, and Decompose. And then we have Expose, Mass Expose, Cure Disease, and Offering Sacrifice in the spell offer. Um, our first hand of five is going to be one, two, three, four, and five. And we get Promise, Swiftness, Mana Draw, Determination, and Rage. So unfortunately, we don't get very much movement here. So I'm thinking we can either come over towards the keep, take that, and then maybe try for the spell and the advanced action in the ruins here. Or we can go for the, um, the Mage Tower here and, and hopefully stop. Stop on the crystal mine, take the mage tower, and then maybe take this and go from there. Given the uh, there's nothing to recruit in either a mage tower or a keep, um, I'm thinking I'd probably go for the the mage tower option. Uh, maybe try and get exposed into into my deck. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll probably go for that route. I'm going to take planning here, um, and the dummy player is going to go with number one. So early bird is gone. Uh, they're going to go first, um, and we can, yeah, make a start. So one, two, and three. It's a green. They get one more. For us, I think I'm just going to have to go with swiftness, and, yeah, we will move two there. Um, and then I'm going to let Promise go, because I don't think we're going to be recruiting on this round. Um, so, yeah, we'll end with these three in hand, um, and we'll draw another three. So one, two, and three. And we get Swiftness, March, and Threaten. Dummy player, one, two, and three. It's a blue. They get two more, one and two. Back to us. And here, I think I'm going to go with March and Threaten sideways for a move of three. That gets us onto the Crystal Mine. We reveal the Mage Tower. Okay, so it's six physical attack, poison, assassination, uh, arcane immunity, and six armor. Ooh. And I think we will end our turn there. Uh, so I am going to choose for our crystal to take a green, I think. Um, so we'll get one into our inventory. We get another two cards and we get crystal joy and improvisation. Dummy player then, one, two, and three. It's a red, they don't go again back to us. And yeah, I think I'm going to just play crystal joy here. I will use a red from the source, take a red into our inventory. Um, and I think I'm going to let go of improvisation here. Um, I just, I don't want to take three wounds to hand and three wounds to discard. Um, so I want to be able, that's a red, so I want to be able to, to try and do it without taking any wounds here. Uh, so we have four, we'll draw two more. We have stamina and march, dummy player then one. Oh, I should have, uh, taken a crystal. I will take a blue, I think. Um, so one two and three it's a red they don't go again back to us okay so we can go with march with a gold from the source for move of four that gets us in we will lose a reputation uh we are going to play determination with a blue from our inventory we are going to use stamina for a uh, block of one so he is fully blocked and then we need six attack we can play mana draw to be able to use two dice from the source we'll get uh, the white for an attack of three and then the rage with the red from our inventory for an attack of four that's enough to take him out you'll get five one two three four five so that's a level up um so we got there eventually it took a lot longer than i had hoped though um we re-roll both of these and it's two blues um we'll clean up this and we are going to get a uh, reward first. I'm going to take Expose, Mass Expose, these advance, and the new one we get is going to be Wings of Wind, Wings of Night. Um, our level up then for skills, we get, okay, so the the top one is going to be um, Universal Power. Once a turn, you may add one mana to a card plate sideways. If you do, the card gives plus three instead of plus one. If it is an action or spell card of the same color as that mana, it gives plus four. And then the bottom one is Siege Attack 1 or Ice Siege Attack 1. I think I'm going to take the Siege Attack here. Um, 
the common skill from Bravel are uh, that is that one's called uh, elemental resistance and then for our advanced action I'm going to take steady tempo these advance and the new one we get is going to be refreshing walk um, and that is it for this turn um, so we will draw our hand limit of five so one two three four and five and we get will focus tranquility stamina expose and steady tempo dummy player uh, they're going to declare and run the next turn back to us and i think here let's go with um, steady tempo with a blue from the source for a move of four uh, and then we can also play stamina for a move of two that's the total move of six we'll get uh, three in there um, he, it doesn't provoke him because he's separated by a wall and then we'll use another two to explore here um, and it is tile number five um, so that gets like that and then um, the, um, let's uh, let's end our turn there because we use the stronger effect of uh, steady tempo it gets put um, yeah we put it on top of our D deck this gets re-rolled it's blue uh, we are gonna draw uh, our final two which are rage and steady tempo dummy player declares end of round back to us and I think here let's uh, let's go with steady tempo again with the blue from the source we'll move there that provokes him uh, we're going to play exposed to block one we'll take one wound to our hand um, and then we can play um, I think we go with probably rage for an attack of two or skill for an attack of one and we'll focus sideways for an attack of one that's enough to take him out we get plus one reputation plus two fame so just one short of leveling up uh, we can also play tranquility to heal that wound um, and yeah that is the end of this round uh, we end on a blue crystal mine so we get one blue into our inventory um, and sorry i forgot to put the orc out there um, and also the monastery card so the orc is going to be four physical attack uh, three armor and two fame and then the monastery advanced action is going to be ritual attack uh, we re-roll the source that is a white red and blue um, we are replacing the unit offer with three new regular units which are going to be foresters uh herbalists and the illusionists i'm sorry that i uh, seem to have taken a green there instead of the blue um for ending on the crystal mine uh the new monastery advanced action is going to be um swift bolt uh, song of wind goes into their deck these advance and the new one is magic talent they're going to get a green for cure disease um, into their inventory the news uh, the spells advance and the new one we get is going to be flame wall flame wave uh, and we can shuffle up and go on to the next round okay so we can draw to our hand limit of five so one two three four and five and we get a promise improvisation tranquility march and uh, expose mass expose i think tactics probably going to want to explore here and take out the orc in the first turn and then maybe go up towards the monastery um, and hopefully be able to recruit some units here there's two units there uh, that can be recruited in a monastery so i'm going to go for preparation here i think uh, the dummy player is going to go for number four which is midnight meditation so that's gone um, and yeah we are or the dummy player is going to go first so i'm thinking here i'll take uh, probably stamina uh, we will be able to use that on the next turn um, in order to get with the blue from the source in order to get up to the the monastery and then we can uh, can uh, see if we can recruit um, but yeah let's uh, let's see what the exploration brings here so the dummy player one two and three it's a blue they get two more one and two um our turn then is going to be i think march so we'll play march uh, for a move of two that gets us uh, this a new tile here and it's going to be tile number 12. um there is an orc and another monastery so we have uh, another one of the ones we defeated earlier um new advanced action for the monastery is firebolt so they're both really really good cards actually to have in the, the advanced action offer um i think let's engage this guy in combat 
uh, so we can go with expose with a white from the source for uh, loses all fortification and resistance. If we get range attack two plus our siege attack one is enough to take him out in the range and siege attack. We get plus one reputation plus two fame. That's another level up. Uh, so we get another command token. Uh, we'll end our turn there. That's a white. Um, these get discarded. We have one, two, three, four. We get one more, and it is rage. Uh, the dummy player then one, two, and the oh, three. It's a blue. They get two more, so one and two. For us, we're going to go with stamina. Remove a four. That gets us move two, four. Uh, so we're on the monastery. Um, I think we will leave it there. Uh, so that's a red. This gets discarded. We have one, two, three, four. We get one more and it's determination. Dummy player, one, two, and three. It's a red. They don't go again back to us. And I think here, let's go with improvisation and discard tranquility. Uh, with a red from the source, that's an influence of five, six, seven from promise. We will get the illusionists here. And then we can also use the illusionist for influence of four. Uh, and then play two cards sideways for influence of two. And that'll get us, I probably want to go with the uh, firebolt here. Um, so that is fine. Uh, we'll end our turn there. Uh, that is a red. Um, these all get discarded. And we will draw up to our hand limit of five. So one, one, two, three, four, and five. And we get threaten, march, stamina, steady tempo, and firebolt. Dummy player then one, two, and three. It's a green. They get two more. They're going to declare and run the next turn back to us. And I think here, let's go with um, steady tempo and march for a move of four. We'll explore here first. And we get so tile number uh, nine. Um, ooh, that's a that's a good tile actually. Uh, Mage tower goes face down. Keep goes face down, and then we'll explore here as well. And it is tile number four. So we're right next to an orc. Um, and there's another mage tower. Uh, the orc is going face up, and it's going to be a summoner with. Uh, four armor and you get four fame for that okay um and then i think we probably can go with um i think let's go with threaten and stamina with the red from the source for influence of five and sorry stamina for influence of one that's a total influence of six to get swift bolt into our deck um and then we'll lose one reputation we're using the stronger effect of threaten uh, that's a black uh, we are yeah, we're left with one in hand. We'll draw four more. So one, two, three, and four. And we get Crystal Joy, Will Focus, Rage, and Swift Bolt. Dummy player declares the end of round back to us. And I think here, let's uh, let's burn the monastery down. So one, two, three. Uh, we'll get a purple enemy, and that's going to be so six physical attack, poison, assassination, arcade immunity, and six armor. And I think here, let's go with uh, Crystal Joy with the green from our inventory along with Swift Bolt for a ranged uh, attack of uh, seven. Uh, we did have this siege attack as well. Um, so he is dead in the range and siege attack phase. We get five fame, one, two, three, four, five. One short of leveling up. Uh, we do get an artifact for that. We can also play Crystal Joy with a probably, let's go with a white to our inventory. Uh, we can also play Firebolt for a red to our inventory and yeah we uh that's the end of the round anyway so the cards we didn't get to were uh, swiftness mana draw and swiftness um so that is fine we get um, a choice of artifacts and we have a choice between soul harvester and circuit of proficiency so attack three for one enemy defeated by this attack gain one crystal to your inventory it may be red if the enemy had fire resistance blue if it had ice resistance green if it had physical resistance you may always choose white and then the stronger effect get attack eight gain one crystal as above for each enemy defeated in the current phase of combat circular of proficiency use any non-interactive skill in the common skills offer as if it was your skill uh, including one of our own if it is a skill usable each turn um, one that does not flip use its effect twice or take any skill in the common skills offer including your own and keep it for the rest of the game as if it was a 
as if acquired through a level up. Um, I think I might take the circuit of proficiency here. Um, yeah, let's try that. I wouldn't usually, I'd probably usually go for soul harvester, but I'll try the circlet this game. Um, that is gold, black, and blue. Uh, so we'll keep the blue, reroll the gold and black, and it is gold and white. Uh, the unit offer gets refreshed. Uh, still no core tiles, so we get uh, shock troops, the Utum guardsmen, and the scouts. Uh, then the dummy player takes decompose into their deck. These advance, uh, and actually we have one monastery still on the board, and that's going to be learning. Uh, the new advanced action is going to be peaceful moment. Uh, they're going to get a red into their inventory for offering sacrifice. The spells advance, and the new one we get is going to be meditation trance. Uh, we can ready our unit and shuffle up and go on to the next round. Okay, so we can draw up to our hand number to five, one, two, okay. three, four, and five. And we get Firebolt, Rage, Circular Proficiency, Will Focus, and Tranquility. I think for tactics, I'm going to take Great Start. Uh, I want to try and take the Orc, uh, level up, and then maybe go into the Keep and recruit either the Shock Troops or the Utum Guardsmen here. Um, and hopefully if the level up, we can get Magic Talent and maybe work our way into getting one of the spells in the spell offer. So we'll take Great Start. We get Determination and March. Dummy player is going to take uh, number three. So Mana Steel is gone. Um, and they're going to go first. Uh, so they go uh, one, two, and three. It's a blue. They get two more, one and two. Over to us, we're going to play March. Remove of two to provoke this enemy. Uh, let's reveal the mage tower and keep first. So uh, five ice attack, ice resistance, six armor, and the keep is three physical attack and seven um, armor, doubly fortified. This guy, then, I think I'm going to. I think I'll use a white for my inventory for target unfortified enemy does not attack this combat, and then we can go uh, use probably our allo. Actually, I don't even need to use the white from our inventory. We can use the white and the source. Um, and then we can play Determination and Rage for an attack of four. Uh, so he, uh, we get plus one reputation, plus four. If I am one, two, three, four, we get one level up. Um, and yeah, we are left with these four cards in hand. Um, discard these. And we are getting, first of all, reroll this. That's a blue. Uh, and then we get a level up. So. Um, our skill choice is going to be flight or uh, the co-op one. I'm going to take flight for sure. Uh, dummy player skill is going to be, so that is a um, fort lightning. Once a turn, ranged coal fire attack one against up to three different enemies. Um, and then for our um, advanced action, I think I'm going to take magic talent here. Um, these advance and the new one we get uh, well peaceful moment is you if you do get heal one okay so into the heat is the new advanced action um, and we'll end our turn there uh, or sorry we'll draw up to our new hand limit of five so uh, one more it's magic talent dummy player one two and three it's a green they get two more one and two back to us and I think here, let's use Tranquility with the gold to draw two cards. So we get uh, March and Stamina. And I think here we can also play Magic Talent with the blue from our inventory. We'll pay a white and we'll take uh, Wings of Wind, Wings of Night. Uh, put it into our discard. We're left with five cards in hand. We'll end it there. Um, this gets re-rolled. That is a black. Um, so we don't draw any cards here. So Dummy Flare, one two and three it's a white they don't go again back to us and i think here we can go for the keep so we'll play march and stamina move in we'll lose one reputation uh we're going to take one wound to hand um and then we can play swift bolt or fire bolt sorry with for rain or fire attack five, uh, three we'll get one from there we can use circuit of proficiency uh, to use um, this skill so universal power uh, and we can play uh, Will Focus. We'll add a blue mana to that. That gives us plus three. Uh, so we have three there, four, five, six, seven. Uh, that's enough to uh, to kill him. Um, 
And yeah, we could uh, alternatively, so we could use three, um, play that regularly for four, but then I would get five, six um, from four lightning. So no, let's, uh, we have to use this way. Um, so that is fine. We kill him. Uh, we get three fame, one, two, three. Uh, we have one shield token on the keep and we are re-rolling this. So it is a white. Red gets discarded. Uh, we're left with one wound in hand. Uh, our hand limit's one higher uh, one higher because we're on our keep. Uh, so we draw another five cards. Uh, so one, two, three, four, and five. And we get Promise, Rage, Mana Draw, Steady Tempo, and Threaten. Dummy player, one, two, and three. It's a red. They get one more. Back to us. And I think here, let's go with Steady Tempo for a move of two. We'll explore there. And it is so tile number eight. Uh, there's an orc and an ancient ruin. So the orc uh, is three physical attack, poison, and five armor. And then the ancient ruins is going to be uh, so that's a brown enemy and a purple enemy for spell and four crystals. Um, and then I think we want to recruit here. So we will use promise with the white from the source for an influence of four. Uh, and then we can use Threaten for an influence of two. That's six. Uh, we are at minus one on the reputation track, so we can recruit the Utum Garrison with that. Um, and I think we will end our turn there. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's end our turn there. So this gets re-rolled. That's white. Uh, we have three. We'll draw another three. So one, two, three. And we get Swiftness, Expose, Stamina. Dummy player is going to declare any brand the next turn back to us. Okay, so we can um, play mana draw to use uh, two dice from the source. So we'll use a blue for move of four. Uh, we will spend uh, flight. So we'll use two move points to move there. And then we can use uh, probably the other two move points to move here. We'll provoke this uh, enemy. We'll use our Utum Guardsman to block for four. Uh, so he is fully blocked, and then we need five points of attack, and we will use uh, range attack three uh, for swiftness, one there, and then we can also use rage for two, um, so that's enough to take him out. Uh, we probably want to discard, although how many cards do we have here? So one, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, let's discard uh, our expose as well. Um, so we'll get plus one reputation and plus three fame, one, two, three. So that's another level up. Um, we get one more command token. Uh, although we didn't need to because uh, discard exposed because we would still draw these four. Um, so yeah, let's keep it um, in hand. And so this, uh, these are getting re-rolled. Uh, that's gold and a blue. Um, we've taken our command token. And we are drawing up to our hand limit, which is now six. Uh, so two, three, four, five, and six. And we get improvisation, crystal joy, swift bolt, and swiftness. Dummy player declares end of round. Back to us. And I think here, let's go for swiftness for a move of two. I will explore here. And it's going to be, so tile number 14. Um, and there's another monastery there. And it's going to be agility for the monastery advanced action. And then we can also play these two sideways for another move of two. Um, so let's just move this down. Um, it's going to be tile number eight. Um, okay, so two draconum. Uh, the far side is going to be six fire attack, um, doubly fortified, brutal fire resistance, and eight armor. And then the one beside us is going to be, or closer to, um, is four ice attack. Swiftness, Ice Resistance, Elusive 7 and 14 armor. Uh, the Ancient Ruins goes face up in the day. And it's going to be uh, one of each color crystal for 10 fame. Uh, and then the level uh, 7 Red City is going to be a brown, two purple, and a white. So um, one brown, uh, two purple, and a white. Uh, physical Resistance will be brutal in this city. Uh, and yeah, we will end it, or we can also play Swift Ball for a white to our inventory. Um, and we can use Crystal Joy with the blue. And let's take 
probably a green in term. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's go with green. Um, so we'll take a green. Uh, that will end it. Uh, so we discard all of these. Um, and we will reroll the source. So we're going to have um, black, green, and blue for the next round. Uh, the unit offer gets refreshed. Now that we have the core tiles, we're getting elite units. And we get the fire mages. Uh, the regular is going to be the peasants. And then the next is the catapults. Um, we have two monasteries on the board. So we get uh, force of nature and training. Uh, the dummy player is going to take a refreshing walk, these advance, and the new one we get is blood ritual. Uh, and I forgot to replace the spell of the last turn when I took wings of wind, wings of night. Uh, the new spell would be tremor earthquake. They're going to get a red into their inventory for flame wall, flame wave. Uh, these advance, and the new one we get is going to be charm possess. Uh, we can ready our units and our skill and shuffle up and go on to the next round. Okay, so we'll draw up to our hand limit of six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we get Crystal Joy, Wings of Wind, Stamina, Tranquility, Expose, and Firebolt. For tactics, I think I'm gonna go for Long Night here. Um, I'll try and come over here um, and maybe take him out, maybe try and recruit the Fire Mages and explore another tile. Um, so dummy player then is going to take number four is gone. Six sparing power is gone. Um, okay, so we're going to go first. Um, and for our turn, I think I'm going to use probably stamina along with flight to move two. That gets us there. We'll use crystal joy with the blue from the source. We'll take a red. Um, and then I think we'll end our turn there. Um, and yeah. That is a red. Uh, we're drawing two more, so one and two, and we get circular proficiency and improvisation. Dummy player then, one, two, and three. It's a green, they get two more, one and two. Back to us. I think here we can take on this, uh, this draconum. So uh, let's use our illusionist to gain a white to our inventory. Um, and then we can use, so we'll block them. Block four counts twice against attack with swiftness. We need 16 inefficient block to block this guy. So we've got eight. Uh, we can use our improvisation and discard tranquility uh, along with the red from the source uh, for a block of five. So that's 13. And then we can use circular of proficiency um, and discard probably wings of night here. Um, uh, using this skill, sorry. Uh, so we'll discard wings of night. Uh, we'll use one of the whites, uh, so we'll make that a block of four. Uh, so that's more than enough to block him. Uh, so his armor is now down to seven. We can use a red from our inventory for a fire attack of three. Um, and let's use uh, for an attack of two. And actually, I think we're going to be short if we do that. So let's reverse a bit here. Um, so we can instead, I think what we'll do instead is probably go with, um, so instead of using our illusionist to get the white to our inventory, we can go with, um, let's play, uh, use the illusionist for target on fortified enemy does not attack. So he's not attacking. And then we need uh, 14 points of attack. Uh, we can use improvisation with the red from the source for uh, an attack of five. Um, and we'll discard Wings of Wind for that. Uh, we can use, uh, sorry, we didn't block with this. Two from him is, that's seven, eight here. Um, and then we can use uh, three for Firebolt is 11. Uh, we can use Circuit of Proficiency to use Fourth Lightning twice. Uh, so we get two from that ranged coal fire attack, uh, two. So we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. And then we can play um, probably, um, no, let's play Expose uh, for 14. So that is enough to take him out. So we get plus two reputation and plus seven fame. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Um, 
and yet yeah, this gets re-rolled. That's a blue. Uh, this goes back there. Uh, red is discarded, and we discard all of these. We're left with just our tranquility in hand. Um, and we draw up to our hand limit then of six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we get, sorry, that's discarded as well. Swift Bolt, Determination, Steady Tempo, March and March. Dummy player then, one, two, and three. It's a white, they don't go again back to us. And I think here we can go with Steady Tempo with the blue from the source for a move of four. Plus March for a move of two. That's a total move of six. So we'll use two to explore. Uh, so the first two, we'll put the tile here. And it's not a city tile. Uh, but we are next to um, Ruins. There's a keep there as well. Uh, the Ruins um, goes face down. Draconum enemy is going to be... Um, so six ice attack, paralyzed, physical and ice resistance. And seven armor. And then we still have another four points of movement here. And I think we'll use that to move here, and then we can um, we can explore this tile using another two points of movement from March, and it is the blue city. Okay, so um, that is going to be. Let me just orient it right, like that. We're right next to a draconum, um, and that is going to be so four ice resistance. Uh, so the same one we defeated before. There's a new monastery on the board. And it's going to be temporal portal. And then the blue city at level uh, 11 is going to be two purple and three white. So two purples, one, two, three white, one, two, three. And any elemental attack in here is going to be boosted as well. Um, and I think we'll end our turn there. So that is a red. Uh, we have three in hand. Uh, we get another three. So one, two, three. And we get Rage, Rage, and Mana Draw. Dummy player then. One, two, and three. It's a green. They get two more. One and two. Back to us. And I think here, let's go with Tranquility with the green from the source for uh, to draw two more. And we get Threaten and Will Focus. Okay. And I think here, let's, uh, let's take on the Draconum. Uh, so we will uh, take two wounds into our hand for, for that. Um, and then we can play Swift Bolt to get a white to our inventory. Uh, we'll use that white with uh, Mana Draw to take the black and set it to, um, I think, red. Um, and then we'll get two red tokens. Uh, we can use a green from our inventory with Will Focus along with Rage. That gives us an attack of seven. Uh, we get four here. So that's 11, 12, 13, 14. Uh, that's enough to take him out in the attack phase. Uh, that's uh, plus two to a reputation, plus seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, so we do get another level up. Um, we lose that red as well. Uh, we're left with threaten and two wounds in hand. Um, green goes away. This gets re-rolled. It's a green. Um, and the red does not get re-rolled. -re um, so we're getting a level up, which is going to be a choice between, um, okay, his influence skill. Uh, so I think that's called um, glittering fortune. Once a turn during interaction, get influence one for each different color crystal in your inventory. Cannot be used outside of interaction. And then the other one is red crystal craft. Get one blue crystal to your inventory and one red mana token. I think we'll take the the access to crystal here. Uh, the common skill is going to be um, so you can get a green or blue and a green or white mana token. Um, and then for our skill, I think let's uh, let's go for peaceful moment here. Uh, I'll try and get the um, fire mages. Um, the new advanced action is going to be regeneration. Uh, we are left with these three in hand. Um, so we can draw another three and we get uh, swiftness, magic talent and peaceful moment. Dummy player then one, two and three. It's a blue. They get two more. One and two. Back to us. I think here we probably need to rest um, so we can, I think, discard swiftness and the two wounds from our hand. Uh, we'll be left with these three in hand. We'll draw another three. So one, two, three. 
and we get stamina, swiftness, and promise. Dummy player then is going to declare end of round in the next turn back to us. And I think here, let's use our skill for a blue to our inventory and a red token. Uh, we can use um, we can use the blue for a move of four with stamina. Uh, that gets us into the monastery, uh, and then we can recruit here. So. We can use magic talent, the basic effect. We will discard, I think, swiftness uh, to be able to use charm. Uh, so influence of four. Um, if we use it during interaction, um, we can gain either a crystal of any color to our inventory or get a discount of three towards the cost of one unit. Um, and then we can use peaceful moment for three, uh, promise for two. Um, so we have uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, ten, eleven. Um, and that would be enough to get us uh, the fire mages. Um, although if we use the stronger effect, we could get a 14 influence. Um, so why don't we do that? We can uh, use the discount of three. Uh, so we're paying. Oh, we also have one influence on the influence track. Sorry. So we have a total influence of four, um, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, plus five is 14 plus one is 15 uh, so we can get the fire mages for nine um, and then force of nature for six um, so that is um, yeah that's enough influence there and we can get a crystal of any color to our inventory um, and i think we probably go with a red here um, hmm although white might also be quite appealing. Um, and I think I will actually go for the white instead, given we have a couple of white spells in our deck. So charm goes back there. Um, and yeah, we will end it there. So these get discarded, um, red and blue. Uh, we lose one reputation for using the stronger effect of threaten. Um, and we are drawing up to our hand limit of six. So we get one, two, and then we can put three more cards in to our hand because of long night. So let's shuffle up. Um, and yeah, we can um, probably want to use flight to get back over to the red city on the next round. Try and take that and then, uh, and then see what's in the unit offer. So we'll get three more here. Uh, and we get a wound, peaceful moment, and stamina. Um, long night is gone. Dummy player declares the end of round, and it's back to us. And I think here, the uh, what probably makes most sense is to first let's get a red crystal and a red mana token. Although we won't use the red mana token, but we'll take the red crystal. Uh, we can play influence of three, uh, influence of one, uh, playing force of nature sideways to heal these two cards from our, our the two wounds from our deck um, and then we'll end it there um, so we can yeah uh, end of round so we'll reroll the source uh, that's green blue and white um, the unit offer gets refreshed and the new units that we're getting are uh, heroes the regular unit is the herbalists and the second uh, elite is the ice golems Okay, so um, nothing that can be recruited in a monastery except for the herbalist, which I don't really want. Um, these are going to get replaced. We have one, two, and three monasteries on the board. So intimidate is one, uh, in need is two, and rush of adrenaline is three. They take into the heat. These advance, and the new one we get is going to be power of crystals. Uh, they're going to get a green into their inventory for meditation trance. These advance. And the new one we get is going to be Mist Form Veil of Mist. We can ready our units and our skills and shuffle up and go on to the next round. Okay, so we can draw up to our hand limit of six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we get a wound, expose, stamina, promise, improvisation, and circlet of proficiency. I'm going to take rethink uh, to be able to go first. I don't think I'm going to discard any cards. Uh, what I am going to do here, I think, is play... Ooh, um, let's play break circular proficiency to take this skill um, and then we can play promise for influence of two to heal one wound and I think we will end our turn there 
uh, although let's discard improvisation as well. Um, okay, so we are, oh, in, uh, circular proficiency gets discarded. Uh, we draw another four, so one, two, three, and four, and we get a magic talent, force of nature, peaceful moment, and crystal joy. Uh, dummy player then, one, two, and three. It's a red, they get two more, one and two. Back to us. I think here, let's go with uh, stamina for move two along with flight uh, to move next to the red city. Uh, the enemies are going to be six fire attack, brutal, ice resistance, six armor, three fire attack, brutal, physical and fire resistance, and four armor, five physical resistance, or uh, five physical attack, um, poison and five armor and six physical attack, paralyze and four armor. Um, okay, so we can also play Crystal Joy with the blue. Um, we are going to take a blue to our inventory, I think. Um, and then we can discard this to be able to take Crystal or Joy back into our hand. Uh, we'll end it there. Um, that's a green. Okay, so Peaceful Moment is discarded. We take Crystal Joy. We have four. We get two more. And it's going to be Swiftness Stamina. Dummy player, one two and three it's a white they don't go again back to us and i think here let's go with magic talent uh with a blue from our inventory we'll pay a green uh that will get us tremor which we'll put into our discard pile um and i think we will um let's end it there uh so we can discard stamina as well i think um and we'll leave it with these four in hand uh, this gets re-rolled it's a gold uh, blue gets discarded um and we are drawing two more so we get swift bolt and we'll focus dummy player then one two and three it's a red they get two more one and two back to us and i think here let's go with a green uh with crystal joy so we'll take a green into our inventory um and then we can probably end it there i think um yeah, let's leave it there, although we could discard Swiftness, I think, as well. Um, yeah, so we'll draw two cards. Uh, that's a blue. Um, so we get one is Determination and two is Rage. Dummy player then. One, two, and three. It's a white. They don't go again. Back to us. And I think we can maybe go for um, an initial attack. So we'll play Rage and Swift both sideways for a move of two. Uh, we can use this skill for a a blue and a green uh, so we'll take one blue one green token um that move of two gets us into the city we lose one reputation uh these are the enemies and we are going to play uh, will focus um, with a green uh, along with force of nature for a siege attack of six and we're going to target uh, this guy so he's dead in the rage of siege attack phase we can play uh, expose for a uh, target enemy loses all fortifications and resistances this combat and we get ranged attack of two and then we can activate our fire mages for ranged fire attack of three and that's enough to take him out in the ranged and siege attack phase uh, we can use the blue uh, for a block of five so he is fully blocked and then we'll take two wounds to hand from this guy um, so that is although we could also um, so we would need six points of block here um, yeah, I don't think we're going to get that. So we'll take the two wounds to hand. These are all getting discarded. Um, it's These two are still alive, so we get two shield tokens. Uh, and we go back out onto the um, desert. Um, these are all gone. And yeah, we are going to get fame for that. So we get seven plus five is 12. So we go 38, 48, up to 50. We get one more shield token um, and our hand limit is still six so we draw another four uh, so we get one two three and four and we have threaten rage march and firebolt dummy player then one two and three it's a red they get two more they're going to declare end of round in the next turn back to us i think we probably want to rest here uh, so we can discard threaten and the two wounds um, do I want to discard any of these? Uh, maybe, maybe we discard um, probably March. 
and then we get four more cards so one two three and four and we get tranquility march mana draw and wings of wind wings of night the dummy player declares end of round is back to us and i think here we can probably go with tranquility with the green to draw two cards and we get swiftness and steady tempo and i think here let's go with uh, march for move of two into the city we lose one more reputation um we are going to activate this for a block of four um and then and then we can uh, activate our illusionist for a white crystal um and we can use this for blue and a red um the blue is into our inventory red here um and yes yeah, so we can then uh we can activate our um guardsman for a block of four and play wings of night or wings of wind sideways for a block of five that's uh, enough to block him we'll take two wounds to hand from uh, his attack and then we can um let's play firebolt for um, a fire attack of three and we'll need three uh four five um no sorry so we uh, will use rage uh, for an attack of four along with this skill for an attack of one so he is dead in the attack phase and then for that guy we are going to play uh, fire attack three uh, swiftness for an attack of three and these two sideways for an attack of two which is enough inefficient attack to take him out um so yeah that is all of the enemies defeated in that city uh, we get another two shield tokens there um and these are all getting discarded we're left with two wounds in hand um we will take our fame now uh and it's going to be um five plus four is nine so we'll get nine fame uh so we go to 59 not enough to level up um and that is the end of the round so we'll re-roll the source uh, it's going to be gold black and red so we'll re-roll the gold and black um and it's blue two blues uh unit offer is getting refreshed with uh ooh, that should be on the bottom um the first elite is going to be uh, amateur freezers uh, first regular is the peasants and the second elite is going to be the catapults um monasteries so there's still three on the board um so they're gonna uh, we're gonna get um shield bash crushing bolt and ice shield they take uh blood ritual these advance and the new one we get is heroic tail um i forgot again to replace the spell offer last time when we took uh, tremor earthquake uh, and the new one was demolish disintegrate they'll take a white for charm possess uh and the new spell that we get is going to be uh, burning shield exploding shield uh, we can ready our units and then our skills and shuffle up for the next round okay so we will uh, draw up to our hand limit of six plus two for our keep sorry that's uh, so eight so one two three four five six seven and eight um, and we get Threaten, Magic Talent, Peaceful Moment, Will Focus, A Wound, Firebolt, Tremor, Earthquake, and Swiftness. Uh, for our tactic then, I think I'm just going to take From the Dust so we can go first. Uh, for our turn, we're going to use Threaten for influence 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, um, 14, 15, 16 from Peaceful Moment, and Magic Talent for 1 is 17. Uh, we're at 0 on the Reputation track. Uh, so that means we can recruit both the Amatep Freezers and the Catapults. So we'll use our one spare for Catapults. We'll replace the Illusionists with the Amatep Freezers. The Illusionists go out of the game. And yeah, we will end our turn there. So this gets re-rolled. It's a white. Uh, and we are left with one, two, three, four, five. We get three more. One, two, and three. Uh, so that is a wound, ma uh, march, and improvisation. Dummy player then. one two and three it's a white they get one more back to us and i think here let's just rest so we'll discard improvisation with the two wounds we're left one two three four five six is determination seven wings of wind wings of night and eight steady tempo dummy player then one two and three it's a green they get three more one two and three uh back to us
And I think here, let's go with swiftness and march for move of four. That gets us there. Uh, we'll end our turn. We're left with one, two, three, four, five, six. We draw two more. We get stamina and swiftness. Dummy player, one, two, and three. It's a green. They get three more. So one, two, and three. Back to us. And I think here, let's go with wings of wind, wings of night. With the white from the source, we'll place uh, steady tempo and swiftness. For a move of four, uh, move four move points. We can move one reveal space for each one, two, three, and I guess we'll go to the monastery. We'll reveal what's in the blue city here. So five, uh, coal fire attack, um, assassination, uh, paralyze, fire and ice resistance, eight armor. Uh, we have three ice attack, um, paralyze, swiftness, fire resistance, and seven armor. Four coal fire attack. Poison, Brutal, Physical Resistance, 8 Armor, 6 Fire Attack, Fire Resistance and 5 Armor, and 2 Ice Attack, Paralyze, Physical and Ice Resistance, and um, 4 Armor. So, and all of those are, all of those are Elemental Attacks, so they're all going to be boosted uh, by the Blue City. Uh, so that's pretty nasty there. Um, okay, so this gets re-rolled. It is a Black. Uh, and we are drawing up to our hand, so we've one, two, three, four, five. We get one more, and it is rage. Dummy player then is one, two, and three. It's a red. They get two more, one and two. They're going to declare end of round the next turn. Back to us. Okay, I think we're going to have to go for it here. So we'll play stamina. Uh, well, before we do that, let's uh, let's use our skills. So um, what I want to do, let's take a blue and a red. Uh, so we'll take one blue crystal and one red uh, mana token. Uh, we can also use this for two greens. Um, and then we will play stamina. Um, and, and actually, let's activate these for a red uh, crystal and a red mana token. Um, OK, so uh, stamina to move in. We'll lose one reputation. Uh, these are the five enemies. We are going to, I think, play Tremor here, uh, along with the green and the black from the source for all enemies lose um, or get armor minus four. And then we can use a blue from our inventory to activate the Amateur Freezers. Uh, this guy is not going to attack and he gets his armor at minus three. So he is down to one armor. He's down to four. He's down to four. He's down to one. And he's down to one as well. Um, and then we can use... Our, another blue from our inventory to activate our catapults for siege ice attack five plus siege ice attack one from him from that is six so we're going to target this guy this guy and this guy uh, so he is down to four he's down to one and he's down to one as well we have siege ice attack of six it's efficient against uh, their fire and physical resistance so they're all dead in the range and siege attack phase then we go on to the block phase uh, and I think here we will use our uh, Utum Garrison for a block of four. Uh, we will play, um, we'll focus with the green along with determination for a block of eight. Uh, so that's a total block of 12. This guy's uh, attack is six because of the, the city boost. Uh, so he is doing six. We need 12 points of inefficient block, uh, which we have. So he is fully blocked. This guy, we're going to assign his damage to uh so we're not going to block him uh, we're going to assign his damage to the Udum guardsmen so they are uh out of the game uh, because of the paralyze ability uh his four ice attack um is absorbed or um fully absorbed by the five armor so they're gone um and then we go on to the attack phase so he has uh one armor and he has four so we can use our uh, firebolt along with uh the red uh, mana token for a fire attack of three, which is efficient against his ice and physical resistance. Uh, so he is dead in the attack phase. And then this guy is down to four armor. He has fire and ice resistance, and we can use our rage for an attack of four. Uh, and he is dead as well. Whew. Um, yeah, it took me a while to work out how to how to do that. But uh, yeah, I was really sweating there. I didn't. I wasn't sure if we were going to be able to to get it done but um yeah that is all for this round um and we can so i'll, I'll maybe just recap so we moved in uh for two uh we played earth uh earthquake with the green 
that we got from our skill and a black from the source. Uh, everyone was armor minus four. We used a blue to target um, him uh, and his armor was reduced by further three. Um, so he was down to one, he was down to one armor and he was down to four. We activated our catapults for siege ice attack of five and used our skill for siege ice attack of one, which is efficient uh, and enough to take out them. Uh, and then we blocked this guy using um, our Utum Garsman for a block of four and then our determination for a block of eight, uh, which is enough to block him fully. Uh, we then assigned damage from this guy to the Utum Garsman that took them out of the game. Uh, we used our Firebolt for a fire attack of three. His armor is one um, and he is dead. And then we used our Rage for an attack of four. He's not physically resistant. Um, and he is dead as well. So that's everything. Uh, the reds, all of these get discarded. Um, we do still have one more turn because the dummy hasn't declared end of round yet. So let me tidy up and then we can uh, take our fame, probably get a level up at least one, and then um, we can play our last turn. So the black gets re-rolled. That is a green. Uh, it was a green before I flipped it. Um, these are getting discarded and we are taking, so we get eight plus five is 13 plus seven is 20 plus five is 25 plus nine is 34. Uh, so we go from 59, 69, 79, 89 up to 93. Uh, so that is two level ups. Uh, we do get five shield tokens on the city. So one, two, three, uh, four and five uh, we are getting one more command token um and then so yeah that should be used um and then we get a choice of skill and we have a choice between healing and uh the crystal um i mean i think i'll just take the crystal one uh although do i have any um i'll maybe take the healing one just in case there's still a wound in my deck uh the common skill is I don't even know what that's called. Um, we could, let's go with Heroic Tale here um, for the influence. And then the new one would be Maximal Effect. We would draw up to our hand limit of seven plus two, which is nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And we get a wound, rage, tranquility, a wound, Force of Nature, Mana Draw, Stamina, Promise, and Heroic Tale. And I think here we can just use our skill to dis or to heal those two wounds. We could probably use, uh, let's use Mana Draw to be able to use two dice from the source this turn. Um, and we can go with, um, let's use uh, the green or to draw two more cards. And we get Crystal Joy and expose mass expose and then i think we can probably play um let's use uh, heroic tail for influence three promise for influence two and we have one two three four five influence so that's a total influence of nine um or sorry yeah nine uh five yeah nine so and we're at minus one so that's eight um so that's enough to get a spell we can use the blue from the source uh to get mist form um and I think that's probably all we can do in this uh, in this game. So, yeah, that is all. Uh, I will tidy up, and then we can uh, just have a look at the the finishing deck that we ended with. Okay, so um, we had uh, two wounds to finish. Uh, we obviously lost one unit. We had finished with Wings of Wind, Tremor, Mist Form, and Expose Mass Expose. Uh, and then for our advanced actions, we finished with Peaceful Moment, Magic Talent. Steady Tempo, Firebolt, Swift Bolt, Force of Nature, and Heroic Tales. So quite a thick, chunky deck at the end there. It did feel quite um, quite chunky, but thankfully we uh, we were able to get over the line. Um, I thought that getting the two uh, these two units in the in the Red City um, was was absolutely key. Um, and yeah, it was a bit close there. I was glad I took the movement. Uh, uh, wings of night or wings of wind sorry um yeah just to be able to race back across and uh and get to the the final city because there was quite a bit of movement in between them but 
um, yeah, I think that's uh, that's everything for this game. Uh, let me know any thoughts in the comments as always. And thanks for joining. Hope you can join again next time. Thank you.